the setup is so different today because I'm in my new room. I'm in my new makeup room, guys. Um, I moved into a different room. So much bigger. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen like snaps here and there. Um, I'm trying something new out with my brows, and I don't know if I'm really, really feeling it. Um, but they're just going to have to do because I can't be bothered. So I know it's been a minute since I have recorded. Um, so yeah, so I was about that. But we're going to get stuck straight in. I have a new eyeshadow palette that I want to try out. Uh, this is the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette. Super small, looks really nice. I've seen Michael Finch using this and I've had this like a long, long time and I just haven't got around to using it. So I want to try that out today um, and I want to do something like super Christmassy, um, like adding some of like these colours with the oranges and things like that and just hoping that it goes well. So yeah, let's get stuck in. Well, I am just going to do one eye on camera and then let's do the other off camera just to speed everything up. So I have whacked and primed my eye already using my Peter Weiss base in the shade number two. Now I know I'm a little bit more darker but I left rumour three in the house so that's why I'm not using that. I would use rumour three when I'm really tan like I am now and then two when I'm not really that tan. But yeah I'm going to start, I'm going to take um, a Morphe M514 usual you guys know and I'm going to dip in to this shade here, the nice pinky colour. It says at the top and it says at the bottom here, transition on both of these like neutrally type of shades. If you're going to do it as a transition shade. Do you guys know I always like to start with my crease colour first? So I'm going to start off with that rosy colour. And let's see how well it performs. So I'm going to start just usually where I would normally start in the centre of my eye and start blending. Let me know what you guys think of the new setup. Do you think it looks nice? Do you think the lightning stuff's better? Do you think, you know, let me know your feedback is the most to me. So already I can tell that these shadows are, well this one in particular that I'm using is a hella pigment up. There's no fallout whatsoever in the pan, like which is really, really good. Usually when a shadow is very, very highly pigmented up. It contains fallout, but this one actually does not have any surprisingly. This is almost like a bit of a review, but it's not really, but it is, if you know what I mean, because I haven't really used this palette. Just want to try something different. I haven't really done like nice colours like this in a while, and seeing it as Christmas month, we may as well just go with the flow. So I have that colour, why is this like not focusing? So I have that colour like fairly blended out, so I'm going to go in now with a Zoeva 221 brush, a luxe crease brush, and I think I want to dip in, this palette is so awkward, I think I want to dip into this shade here, which is like a nice dusty rosy pink type of colour, and use this as my transition. So yeah, we're going to go with the flow. There's a little bit of kickback in that colour, um, but nothing too drastic. So we're going to go in with that shade there, and we're going to blend out the edges of this like pinky maroon shade. And just see what happens. So guys, are you excited for Christmas? What have you got something to bring? Let me know. All I want is a new phone just because I really need to update. My phone is actually, oh, like, it's so bad. Like, look at this. Um, I was going to go for an iPhone and then I was like, do you know what? I don't even think I could cope with an iPhone because every time I've had one, it's just been brutal. Like, literally, I just have had no luck whatsoever with iPhones. And I don't know if you've seen, like, on my Instagram, I wasn't even going to do a tutorial today, but I really, really needed to because I haven't recorded in like forever properly sitting down and like just chatting with you and doing makeup um, because my eyes are water like hell right now. I was modeling all day yesterday and my eyes are just still extremely sensitive because of all the makeup that I've had on my face. So I was going to go for like putting a brand or something at the outer corner and then you know making it a wee bit smoky but I think I'm just going to leave all the smokiness till underneath the lash line. So I'm going to take a pigment now, this is the Inglot 119 pigment and it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a rosy, pinky, plummy type of colour. I know it's very weird um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to take that and what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to take a tiny bit of my Peter Lee's base just on a like flat brush and then I'm just going to pop this like all over the lid 
And this is going to act as a base for our pigment to stick down. Now you can go ahead and just spray your brush with like a fixing spray or a satin spray or whatever. But for me personally, I think that throughout the day when I use a satin spray or, or any spray at all, sticking pigments down, they start to flake off. So I've started to use just the Peter Lee's base now and then put my pigments on over top and they have been sticking so much better. So yeah, that's all picked out. Now I'm going to take my pigment and I'm going to just tap that on. Like, look at that, how beautiful is that? I learned this little trick from Stacey Marie but I'm going to do in a second or two. So what she'll do is she'll do the same and put like her base down and then she'll put her pigment down afterwards. And then after, she'll get a satin spray or a fix plus or whatever it is and she'll spray it on her brush. Just like this. Making sure it's not too wet and then she'll go back over top and pop that pigment in further. And this sort of keeps it in place a lot longer throughout the day, which is really, really good. So now that that's done, I'm going to go in now and put some glitter on. So I'm going to take my Makeup Studio 2 White Gel, which is just like a glitter gel. Like obviously it's like down your glitter, it's like a glitter glue. Um, so I'm going to take that and I'm just going to place this sort of like in the center of the eye. And I don't want the glitter to be like all over the eye. So I'm just taking this on the center. Almost like a non-structured spotlight. This is what we're going for. And then I'm going to put the next um, face and body glitter in the shade 02, I assume. 02, it's just like a nice pink, like a fuchsia pink glitter. And I'm going to just pop this on over the center. That really, that, that really didn't do much for me, to be totally honest with you. Why, why is there no sparkle on it? Like, hello? It's okay. It's not the best glitter that I've used, to be totally honest. I should have you guys zoomed up closer, to be quite honest. Too close. Too close. <laughs> but, mm, I don't know about that glitter. I've had better glitter. Maybe it's the glue, I don't know. So I'm gonna try and attempt to do a wing. I just feel like wings are just, you know, a good part of a person's glam. So I'm just gonna speed it up so that you just can sort of see what I'm doing because it's so hard to explain what you're actually doing when you try and do a wing liner. Um, I usually use, I usually use, I usually would use the NYX matte liquid liner, but unfortunately I ran out and I need to get more. So I've just picked my collection, Lasting Black Gel Liner, and I've put a little bit of Inglot Stir Liner in it just to um, make it a little bit more liquidy, if you get me. So yeah, gonna speed it up. Okay guys, so I just popped on some lashes. These are the AK Pro Cosmetics lashes in the state Tina. I have loads of these still in stock. I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can purchase them. All the other shades will be restocked just in time before Christmas, by the way. Um, so yeah, pop those on off camera. I don't really know if I'm feeling the look 100%, but I think it's just because I'm not the best at wings, but I want to try and challenge myself in the realm of comfort, so hence why I don't And I just think wings are really nice for Christmas time. Don't know, just personal preference. But yeah, I think it'll look okay whenever I have like my foundation and stuff on, but I'm gonna go off camera, do this eye, um, and then I'll do my foundation and everything else. I'll come back. So I have just went ahead, done foundation concealer and set everything in place. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna spray my face with some Fix It Plus. Just before we go in with our highlighter. Dried up. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using my Lats Faces Contour and Highlight Palette today in collaboration with John Paul Cosmetics. I'm mixing the shade Bougie and Elegance together. I love these two mixes, especially whenever I'm tanned. Oh my god. I would lift the palette up guys, but I smashed it. Very tragic. So just putting this shade on the highest 
quite a few of these, little shoes. And then just above the arch of the brow. Oh, I think I put too much there. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. Too much, too much. And then I'm going to put a little bit on the tip of the nose. And also just down the bridge of the nose, a little bit in between the brows, keep it well on my chin. The difference. None. Obsessed, obsessed. Okay, so I have glowed my face up and I have glowed my flipping shoulders up for the gods. I should have done a little bit in colour ones, but it's okay. It's not like just taking them out to appreciate it. Like, look at that. Oh, literally, like, glowed my whole face up and like my shoulders. Like, look at that. Can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this palette. It is going to be lit. So, I'm going to go in now and do some bronzing slash contour. So I'm going to take the shade uh, Golden Goddess and a little bit of our new bronzer. The kind of sexy. And I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up the face. I didn't do no cream contour today guys. Um, this couldn't be bothered. This felt like this. Just to show you how well, like, oh my god, foam. I just wanted to show you guys how well these powders before I'm on their own that you actually don't really need to put cream contour in down. But yeah, I'm using a Inglot 15B JF brush. And I'm just blending, blending, blending. I love these two bronzers together. They're so fucking beautiful. Another thing I really like doing with my powder, um, I like to put it underneath my contour and stuff to sharpen it up. This is the Warm Yellow Powder by the way guys and this is just the wee face shape brush from Zoeva. I really love to just push this underneath, like look at that, it cleans everything up, it makes your contour a lot more stronger as opposed to this side and it just puts a little bit of brightness in as well. So, already went ahead, done this eye off camera, and I'm gonna do this eye on camera. So, I'm gonna take, um, I done a little bit of black jelly in the waterline, by the way, and smudged it out underneath. I could not do it on camera. I'm gonna take the darkest brown in this palette, um, just on a Cura Daily Buddha brush, a small brush, and I'm just gonna blend this out underneath the lower lash line, just going from side to side. This brown does have a little bit of fallout, so be super, super careful. Just make sure you pat your excess off. And then I'm going to go in now with a clean M514 brush and go into that pinky sort of maroony shade that we do. And I'm going to blend this out underneath the lower lash line also. I'm really feeling this like now. I hated it before, but I'm feeling it. It's a look. I'm gonna add a little bit more pink under this side, just. And then I'll go back in with the brown one more time. I'm just gonna add a little bit of my two highlighters in the inner corner. Elegant and beige. And then lastly, I'm just gonna take a angled brush and go back into that black gel liner and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a cat eye. So just go from the inner corner and just create a sharp lay. So guys, I just decided to do my lips off camera because you know how long I take to do my lips. But the lipstick I decided to use today, I got last year, so I don't know if you can buy it anymore because I think it was part of like a holiday collection. It's the Kiko Milano Arctic Holiday Lipstick in the shade number three. 
um, I just thought that it would go really well with the eyes. I think it's absolutely stunning. I'm not really a lover of coloured lips, as you guys know by now. But it's a look, it's looking nice, so we'll stick with it. But yeah, so this is the finished look, guys. Um, something like nice and Christmassy to get you in the spirit with nice, like, cranberry colours and, you know, yeah, glitter. Loads of highlight, nice coloured lip, nice big lashes, you name it. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed it. I'm so sorry that I haven't been doing my regular uploads. I've just been super, super busy getting everything sorted for the run up to Christmas, the palette launch, everything. I'm so excited for you guys to try my palette. I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it. I can't see what look she like what look she's create with it. Like I'm just so excited. Um so yeah, I'm I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed because you guys seem to be so excited for it. And yeah, so I'm off this. All the light So yeah, this concludes today's tutorial in my new makeup room. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you have. Hit the subscribe button in the corner. Hit the notification bell. You've got notified every time I upload a video. You guys know the crack. So yeah, I'll leave um, all my other social media listed down in the description below along with a link to where you guys can purchase my lashes. Now bear in mind there is only three sets available. Tina is in stock, Tina is what I'm wearing today. Everything else will be restocked in time just before Christmas. So yeah, thank you so much again for watching guys. I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next vlog.